Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Codations coming at you today with another video, ladies and gentlemen. And today, baby, we are taking a look at the patch notes, the maintenance notes that the devs have released on Facebook according to the brand spanking new update and the brand new patch that the devs have put in the game. We're going to highlight some of those features. We're going to go into a little bit of detail about those features. Not too crazy because we will release videos in the future. Um, focusing on exactly what those new things and um, um and features are and exactly how those new features function. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into the video. The devs have gave us currency, or not currency, they gave us compensation for the update and the server being down. Um, and guys, I cannot stress to you to tell you how freaking pumped and excited I am when it comes to uh, the compensation that the devs have gave. The compensation, they gave us 6,000 gold. They gave us 6,000 experience crystals, which is really nice to upgrade those heroes. They gave us... Um, advanced stones of 600 um, and they also gave us uh, Kronos deeds of three but last but not least ladies and gentlemen they gave us a hundred heroic summoning vouchers so do you even know what that means guys that means that if you came into this heroic summon event and had nothing if you had zero summoning tickets you automatically complete the first section of the event the heroic summon event that's currently going on right now on these servers is you have a hundred is the very first one so even if you didn't have none you had zero the devs instantly gave you a hundred i am mind blown for the fact that they gave a hundred summoning tickets now some of you might argue in the game and say oh they're just a bunch of summoning tickets yeah it's not guaranteed to get a legendary you're right you're a hundred percent right but guys but it is all rng based baby so yeah that means you could get in here you could drop a hundred summoning tickets and you could get five legends you could drop a hundred summoning tickets and you can get zero legends it just is all rng man so again it's just fantastic in my opinion that they have released a hundred summoning voucher tickets that's freaking absurd in my opinion but i'm not going to complain about it i'm excited i'm pumped up about it i'm happy about it i as you can see here for the event that i've already showed you i have already covered quite a bit um, of the summoning event now i have not yet been able to hit the 500 mark on this account i will hit this um on my other account my codations account or codations 2 sorry uh the paid account but i'm telling you guys i am just more than thrilled and more than happy um um, with the compensation and I hope you guys are too but starting off on number one on the list we have they lowered the difficulty for stages in the mirage of fate my god devs we this has absolutely been needed the mirage oh my gosh if you don't know what that is the mirage section here the mirage of fate it is just brutal before we're not going to get into it we're going to create a video and a guide on that later on but it was just an absolute brutal mess people like late game players whales everything they couldn't get past age two stage three or chapter three whatever it was just absolutely insanely difficult so that's good that's very very good we are happy with that number two lowered prices in the mystery store in the adventure and compensation will be sent to players who purchased items in the past guys you cannot argue that the devs are listening to the players. You cannot argue that the devs are making changes in the game for the better. I mean, they are low. They are listening. We've complained enough. They we've made our points. We've gotten them across to them. They've lowered the cost in the mystery stores in the adventure mode. Those little mystery shops that pop up, those little mystery tents that have the one hero that have like 15k, however many freaking diamonds it costs to buy that hero, um, depending on your you know VIP rank basically and your discounts. But they've lowered that and. And they gave us back compensation. So we're also getting compensation for all of the stuff that we've already, already bought. Um, so again, very, very nice um, change. Number three, increase the stage clearance rewards of the Mirage of Fate. Again, just for more things for the Mirage, uh, you're getting basically um, better rewards for clearing certain stages. A lot of players, um, after they you know work so hard to clear chapter two or stage two or whatever, uh, they were complaining that the rewards were not sufficient enough to continue to, to pursue and run it. Um, so they did definitely make that change, which is really, really good. They increased the rewards gained from harvesting plants um, in the guild section. So if you don't know what that is, in the guild farm here, um, as you um, harvest um, the uh, plants and then you come to the market section here you have the ability to sell those said items so as you can see here we have over 200 
they have increased this right here as you can see not just this specific reward but the bonus rewards that you get they have increased the chance that you get those bonus rewards so very very nice change there um we have number five on the list is going to be increased coins and experience crystals gained from afk now this is exactly what everybody from day one the players who have quit that we have you know went like this uh that emote in my discord you should get it <laughs> but basically those players that have left that have already quit players that are currently in the game that have been playing and players that have yet uh to actually pick the game up but they have complained and complained numerous times about the experience um in the gold gained um in the idle section here right here and that how it is just does not seem significant enough because you log on you're idling for eight hours or 12 hours whatever your card is and all of a sudden you log on you only have enough you've only gained enough resources to level up your heroes a few times blah 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 it's not enough you complained the devs fixed it they've increased the coin and the experience gain ladies and gentlemen so again very very nice change number six on the list is gonna be they added a skin for isabel in tier three rewards for the top up event so if you have spent already in the game and you've already topped up um you've got the to tier three which a lot of players have um compensation was basically re-given back out and you were given that free skin because you already earned it ladies and gentlemen that is what i'm talking about they are not jipping you out they're not they're not uh they, they understand and see that you have spent that money so they are giving you those rewards even though they are making changes for the future players baby so again very very nice change we're moves moving on to the number seven on the list we've got added a new hero skin pack and we added a legendary hero pack now i have yet to find these two items in the game currently Currently, I, I, I'm going to bet that they're going to be on daily reset. So we've got an hour and 20 minutes before we can actually see those new packs. We can actually see that new hero skin, what hero skin that's going to be. And we can also see that new legendary hero pack that is added. Now, that's a pack, not a new hero. So don't get that confused. Don't hit me down in the comments and be like, yo, Code Asians, I don't see no hero, no brand new hero in the game. There is no brand new hero. It's a brand new hero pack so you can buy with real money okay that's exactly what that is that's what that means so again we have not been able to chance to see those i have had a few players looking for them hunting them i have not been able to find them i know some players have mentioned like it being around a hundred dollars i don't know where they're getting that information from because i have yet to find it if you know drop it down in the comments down below and let me know exactly what that is in um basically where you found out the information i guess is what i'd like to say um that's gonna be it um for the uh, maintenance reward or maintenance uh, notes that they have but we're going to take a look at the brand new uh, two brand new features that I want to show 100% in this video because it is definitely part of the patch and the update that they implemented in the game so as you can see down here I have two additional icons now the brave icon we have definitely already seen in the past from leaked screenshots from players that have actually disconnected from the game and because they've disconnected from the game that's kind of like threw them into like this little like private server or some type of like small server that have actually been able to screen capture really quick take screenshots on their mobile device and we've seen this but and that includes myself i have actually done this on accident before a few times um by being disconnected and reconnected to the internet and the server kind of funky and you kind of slip through like a ghost but uh nevertheless we've got this here and this is going to be the brave section so the brave section again it we're not a hundred percent sure on exactly how this system works they do have a note section that you can read get in there check it out they've got a reset reset section and they've got a master section um, they've got a collection that kind of shows you the different heroes that you can get um, and we've got the title section they incorporated the title section into this section which is kind of very interesting but if you didn't already know your titles give you buffs um, as you can see here that's why it's imperative as you unlock a new title to equip it on your hero um, so again um, they've kind of added these here and again these are we're not really sure some people have said they, they might because they cap out at level 150 and they have special abilities that they might act as another um, side adventure I guess onto your team of six heroes kind of like the pet system um, except it'll be like this guy uh, some people are speculating that this will actually replace your current hero in the adventure mode so as you can see here we've got this generic guy um, right here um, that be up until this point we couldn't do anything with but now with this brave section if these guys um as you unlock them and you buy them because you have to buy them not with real money where do you buy them codations because that's what you're going to ask me next is going to be in the competitive section underneath the summit arena um you will be able to battle individual um other players you can click the hourglass you can see exactly what their team is um you can use the refresh button you get five attempts um you to reuse the refresh button um in order to cycle out these three players or these three uh 
um, other players that you have to go against to make sure you can get the ones that you can beat in order to get the reward. So for instance, we're going to click on this guy just to show you uh, really, really fast. I'm just going to show you, I mean, super, super quick. I'm actually going to click the skip button because nobody wants to see this mess. Um, it takes way too long for these videos sometimes. So we're going to go ahead and click the skip button. I did beat them. You're going to get this summit coins and these summit coins are actually what you're going to need in order to unlock uh, those uh, heroes. So you're going to click the store button. And as you can see here, you're going to see the names of the heroes. And this is exactly how you unlock them. So you've got some right here that's going to be with fashion shards. And that's going to be those gold summon um, coins in order to unlock them. Again, you're going to have this five times to actually refresh these heroes here. If you do not think you can beat one of them on the line or multiple of them on the line, whatever, beat the ones that you can click the refresh button. You get five times to click the refresh button. You do consume stamina every single time. Now it looks like you can buy, um, uh, a giant amount of stamina looks like you can buy 10 or at least I can buy 12 however many it's capping me out it's not let me go any further than that I don't know if I buy the first 12 if I can buy another set of 12 but anyways you get the point get in there check it out you do have um, a ranking system you do have rewards you get bonus rewards from your rank um, so again get in there it's something to grind out um, we'll come out with a video on that later on but uh, that's going to be the brave section here like I said to unlock these heroes you're going to need to buy them with those coins um, and again we're not really certain exactly how these things function yet because they just came out um, early this morning and nobody really has the, any of them unlocked um, and I don't see any way to pay to get them unlocked either with real cash money yet um, so until we do then or until there that option is there I know nobody really wants that but until that option is there the whales can't really get in there and just buy them and test them right away and give us that feedback right away so again that's the uh, another feature. Um, another one is going to be the uh, soul memory. So this is kind of an interesting feature. Um, they basically you have to complete certain chapters and you complete certain chapters um, or not certain chapters. You complete certain obligations by uh, basically consuming or buying these heroes. And then as you buy these heroes, they unlock these specific bonuses or um, stats, you know, that you can get. Um, and again, you can see the stat bonuses that will be in or decreased down here and how you actually get this is from a brand new feature in the game that you find over here um, in the uh, blimp section or whatever you want to call it but the blimp here um, is going to be it functions like the storm field it's going to be twice a day that you can contribute into the mine battles um, and then again you log in and you do the mine stuff we'll have a whole other guide on the whole mine battle thing um, eventually but we can't show it right now because it's not currently available but in the store section um, is going to be where you can actually get these uh, rare soul chest. Um, you can get these uh, souls and that that is basically where you're going to be able to um, come here and use those souls in the store um, in order to uh, buy these specific said heroes that you need. You can use the refresh button here. Um, once you use it once, it does go on a cooldown, kind of like the black market system um, does in the game. But that's how you unlock them. You're going to be able to buy like Robinson, for instance, or Hannibal, and then you're going to activate those buffs once you um, do unlock those heroes. Now, um, one keynote to things so far that I have been informed on is is do not save this currency. Uh, most of the other events and the other things in the game, we, you know, they we recommend you saving them up and building them up and storing them up and then spending them on certain things when certain things comes around. Um, this is a little bit different because you actually have to complete chapter one in order to unlock chapter two and unlock chapter three, you know, etc. So with that being the case, you don't really need to save them. Don't worry about saving them. When you can buy a hero, go into the store, buy a hero. Maybe you want to focus on some of the buffs at first. That's fine. Um, but buy those heroes first, or whatever heroes that you can have uh, that you can buy, buy them. And then that way you can complete the chapter faster, which then allows you to unlock the next chapter. So again, just a very, very nice little feature that they added in the game, but it's going to be very, very cool um, in the long run as we learn more about down below. I think the devs are doing a fantastic job listening to the players, making those changes, going back to the drawing board, finding that common ground between the devs making some money, uh, some paid features, and then they also want to cater to those free-to-play players because they are 100% crucial when it comes to games like these. So again, um, that's going to be it for me. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you get a notification every time I drop a video. And before we go, ladies and gentlemen, I got to stop you one more time. I got to remind you guys, we are doing a giveaway at 1,000 subs, baby, and we are raising the stakes. We are dropping, we are pumping up the giveaway to 40 dollars to one lucky winner so we're 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 going to be popping that off so but in order to qualify for that you have to be sub to my channel like that giveaway video and comment on that giveaway video when i drop that video just like i did my last one if you missed it go check it out the rewards obviously are already gone but 
I will be sure to drop another um, giveaway video once we hit a thousand subs. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to see you guys on the next video.